Good evening from Four Mile Run Park in Alexandria, Virginia. You are looking at the United States Capitol Dome, and in the foreground of the picture is the park where this year the 22nd annual Congressional Baseball Game is just about ready to begin. We are just about ready now for the uh, start of our introductions here at uh, Four Mile Run Park, which is the minor league baseball home of the Alexandria Dukes. Followed by Mr. Ron Paul in the center field. Mr. Paul. Jerry, I might say at this point that Ron Paul is probably the best long ball hitter uh, in the club. Dan Crane in left field. He's strong and has uh, stroked a number of home runs, not uh, only in practice, but uh, during the course of the game. I think you'll find him an exciting player to right watch field. him play. I would add that he's probably one of the best gynecologists who you'll find out on this ball field today, without question. Mike Which he is when he's, when he's not being a member of Congress. The only gynecologist in attendance here tonight. Time is called by home plate umpire Vic Travis. I'm a little bit surprised that Silvio has, uh, doesn't have Ron Paul up further in the lineup. This is a, a place where he would like to have a, a long ball hitter like Ron Paul coming at the plate with two on and, and one out. Oh, Apparently he's down the, in the, uh, the batting lineup uh, quite a bit. Yeah, we have him down at uh, number seven in the lineup. Well, you never can figure out a manager's strategy. One out and the bases are full. And this brings up the Republican backstop, Ron Chandler. Tell us a little bit about Ron, if you could, uh, Bill, if you know anything about him. It's the first time I've seen him. First time for me as well. I have not uh, seen him play. But again, Silvio must have some confidence in him to put him ahead of Ron Paul. I keep waiting for Ron Paul to come up because I think he's probably the most exciting long ball hitter you'll see in either team. So Jack Fields has an infield hit. Moves Chandler down to second. And the Republicans are quickly back in this ball game at six to two. Good defensive play down there at third base. We saw one to end the uh, top half of the first inning for the Democrats, for the Republicans rather, defensively. And the Democrats turn a sparkler down there at the hot corner. Dave McCurdy from Oklahoma. I think uh, Chapel is talking it over as to whether they want to walk Ron Paul and then face uh, young Jock McKernan. But I think that at this point, uh, Chapel is going to recommend a pitch to him. But he's a very, very dangerous hitter. As Barney Frank mentioned earlier, this is the uh, premier gynecologist on the field tonight, Ron Paul. He's a medical doctor, of course. He gets by Chandler, and the base runners move up one. I think that walk question may just have been resolved, Bill. Do it every time. None of the runners have been moved up inadvertently. A wild pitch. Thrown by Mel Levine. So both the pitchers starting tonight. First inning jitters. Chandler down to third and Fields to second. I begin to think that our chances of getting home tonight are huh. not terrific. <laughs> the appeal play down at third base. I don't quite know what they're appealing. I think they're just waiting until the catcher gets his shin guards back on and just paying they're a little warming toss up. up there. They're warming up. As Bill Chappell gets back uh, the gear back on. This is a big out here. Ron Paul, a strong batter right-hand hitter has a chance to pick up a couple of runs here and uh, really get the Republicans back in this contest after giving up six in the top of the first a little bit below the knees two and nothing they're playing him very deep as you'll notice they're almost back to the right to the scoreboards right now Sinar is deep, shaded around the left center field. There it this goes. one has hit a ton out to left That's center gone. field. It is no. going to stay in the ballpark, however. Sinar picks it up, relays it back in. And that one makes it a 6 to 4 ball game. That's the kind of shot that makes it count. Bases are clear after Fields knocked in the uh, seventh and eighth runs and then came around to score on some uh, interesting play around the infield and outfield to make it a 9-8 ball game here in the last of the second inning. Richardson in for Mel Levine and Ron Paul the batter swings and does not get Richardson's first offering. I was going to point out Ron Paul likes a fastball. He is not a good slow ball hitter and that was a very wise pitch uh, by Richardson that first time through. But, uh, the way to pitch to Ron Paul is to throw it as soft as you can because he likes to swing hard, and uh, when you throw a fastball, he's there, and that's when you have a chance of him losing the ball. And 
fastball, of course, uh, will supply its own power, they say. And you've got to supply more of the uh, of your own power with the off-speed pitches. It's bunted, almost captured by Chapel as he got off awful quick. Great effort for, by Bill Chapel, missing by an inch or two. So Paul will stay alive at one ball and two strikes here in the second inning. Bases are empty. Paul doubled in the first inning and came around to score the fifth Republican run. I think Ron's a bit worried that he hasn't figured this pitcher out just yet. Ground ball to the right side. Sabo on to Russo for the third and final out of the inning. Chris Moore was a professional basketball player basketball for a while player. with his one eye. Moyudo, I know, played for the University of Arizona, his, uh, his college team, and uh, as well for the Denver Nuggets a while ago. So Fields down at first base. And Rom Paul places a solid single at least to left field. And he takes a nice little turn there at the first. Was low, so he couldn't really drive it anywhere. But we, we have a guest up. commentator here who's hiding out, I think, from being forced to play again, Tom Downey. So we may uh, call on him for a little inside report from the battlefield. Tom started in left field tonight, and uh, Harley Staggers has replaced him. Here it is. Just low. And that'll force in Ron Paul with run number 12 for the Republicans. And now the tying run is just 90 feet away with one out. We were probably the best hitter on the team up at the plate. So this is a very, very big batter for Dave McCurdy and the Democrats. As the infield comes in a little bit, it hits the batter, Ron Paul. Fifth hits batsman tonight. John McKernan, a left-hander now due up. This is Ron Paul. Double, grounded out, singled, hit by a pitch. Over the years, Texas has produced some really fine ball players. There was a, uh, a young uh, ball player who came in with me, uh, Alan Steelman from Dallas, and probably one of the finest looking uh, ball players ever uh, served in Congress, and uh, was defeated, I think, at their second term. Ron Paul here with the bases empty and one out. You know, if you take away the uh, first seven innings, or the first six and a uh, half innings here, we really have a squirrel. We have a uh, tie game, a and both game. the starting That's pitchers right. are still in here, right? <laughs> Let's just forget about the uh, 16 runs. So the Democrats are back to the original lineup, except for uh, Jim Moody replacing Bill Chapel. Two and nothing. Levine had trouble with Fields, but then got him on a pop-up for the first out of this uh, bottom of the seventh. This is sudden death here. One run, and the Republicans have it. Swing and a miss, in and out of the glove of. Uh, Jim Moody, and apparently it's... Apparently uh, he must have tipped his bat. I'd have to say, Jerry, that whatever happens here may be death, but it's a little late for it to be sudden. <laughs> sudden, maybe. Schaefer has been in there all night. Fly ball is well hit to right field, but Paul has it measured, and he grabs it for out number three. However, the Democrats go ahead with one run in the top of the eighth. It is now 17 to 16. The Democrats and the Republicans have their last chance here in the bottom half of the eighth inning. They're, they're shaking hands. I think the game's over. That is it. An official, the first time in the history of the uh, Congressional Baseball Game Series, which now stands at Republicans 15, Democrats 6, and one time. Both sides, the Democrats and the Republicans.